In example number two, we are to circle the rationals. In order to do that, we first off have to remember what a rational is. A rational is just a number that can be written as a fraction. The definition for a rational is any number that can be written as an a over b, where both a and b are integers, and b is not zero. So our goal is in looking at each of these four values to decide which ones of them we can write as fractions that, that meet that definition, and which ones we can't. Let's start by talking about pi. What is pi? You've seen pi when you talk about area of a circle. Pi is a constant in math. It's a number or a, a value that never changes, and it equals 3.14159, and then you're going to see three dots. Those three dots just mean, hey, this number keeps on going forever. If there's a pattern, the pattern continues. Looking at this number, there is no pattern. This number happens to be a decimal that does not repeat and does not end. Because it doesn't do either of those things, it is not rational. This is what we would call irrational, which is spelled like that. The symbol for irrational is simple. If Q means rational, put a line over the top, and that means irrational. This is not a rational number, so we don't circle it. We go to the next one. 4 times the square root of 9. Well, let's make this easier on ourselves. We know the square root of 9 is really 3. So I'm going to go ahead and say, well, instead of 4 root 9 and that funky symbol in there, let's write it as 4 times 3. We know 4 times 3 is 12, so we might as well go that step as well. Now, is 12 rational? Is 12 a number we can write as something over something, for instance, 12 over 1, such that both of these are integers? 12 and 1 are both integers. This is not a 0 in the bottom, so this is a really good example of a rational number. So we come back over here and say, well, if 12 is rational, 4 times the square root of 9 is rational because it is 12. They are exactly equal. Now realize instead of 12, I could have written 24 over 2 or 120 over 10. It doesn't matter. They're all good examples of how 4 times the square root of 9 is a rational number. The third one's negative 3.28763, again with three dots after it. What do the dots mean? This keeps on going, keeps on changing, does not end, does not repeat. This is irrational. Last one, 1,000. Is this a decimal? Is this a fraction? In fact, you can think of it both ways. If it's a decimal, the decimal is right here, and this is a zero. It ends. There's nothing else. Or if you wanted, you could write a whole bunch of zeros and think of it as repeating. Either way, this is a rational number. This is a number that we can write as a over b using integers. What would that look like? One way, and the easy way, is to say, well, this is 1,000 over 1. This is a, an example of a good rational number. What's the symbol for rational? Just a q. So if you were asked to use the notation, these are rationals. We were asked to circle the rationals, and we've done that. If you're still not sure what's going on, make sure you call your teacher and get this all sorted out, the difference between rationals and irrationals, or perhaps uh, the integers and whole number part as well. However, if you think you know what you're doing, feel free to head back to the course and try the quiz on our number system.